I'm probably not gonna have much footage available left on my camera pretty soon. Because yeah, I only got an hour and four minutes of recording time. We go straight or going left? Oh, we can go straight. Okay. We'll take the longer way. Because I mean, if she does, if she does let you out, or if she even wants to go out later or something, if you can have a babysitter or something, you know, maybe. Yeah, I'll see what's going on. Because I mean, I'm sure Bria will let me go out, especially if I'm home when she gets home, and I'll just be like, like said, there's not gonna be much time left to do this. You know, right. we got, what, five, six months? We got to sit and put on our bones? That ain't cool. Well, I'll probably still be riding in the winter. I don't care. As long as there's no snow on the ground, then... I said that to somebody on Facebook the other day, and they're like, no, thank you. And I'm like, why not? Why not do polar bear rides? I did polar bear rides last year, and I was sponsored by, uh... Uh... Not Nikon. Uh, some some battery company, some some battery company sponsored me, and I would just record my miles, and they'd record the temperature, and for each mile they would donate so much to a charity, and and so I froze my ass off, but it was for a good cause, and it gave you know, it gave me the opportunity, just like I want to start group rides for fun. Yeah, we can go left. I want to take group rides and have you know like. And give towards like uh, the ALS Foundation. You know how they're doing the ice bucket challenge and I shit. That's a fraud, though. No, it's not. I know somebody that had ALS. I mean, I don't mind helping them out, but I heard that ice bucket challenge was actually more fraud. Yeah, that that is. But if you're giving directly to the company, you know, then it's different. You know, plus that's only that's only a ten dollar donation. So of course they have to have startup costs and all that, and they only give you a percentage towards your actual source we gotta switch lanes oh your battery died your battery died head back to my place okay All right, guys. So he's uh he actually had a dead battery, but that'll give me a chance to finish up this and kind of start a new vlog. Um, yeah. So like I said to him, we're you know I want to try and do some you know group rides where we actually give money towards you know some sort of charity. And like I know this past year uh, we were gonna do a group ride. I actually just ended up writing a check, but. Uh, we gave to the uh, first day of school foundation, which just pretty much gives you know kids school supplies and stuff like that. And they they, you know, I gave them like a fifty dollar donation or something like that, and it goes towards you know school books and notebooks and pencils and you know the normal utilities and stuff like that. And it's just spread amongst everyone, you know, like it's it's just stuff that they use in the classrooms, you know, just like you know, so that way teachers don't have to buy it out of their own pocket and stuff. You know, I mean, just nice little things that you know we do. But, uh, you know, we're heading back to my place now and then we're going to start uh, mer merging some of these videos and stuff. And, you know, once we get these videos merged, uh, you know, I'm going to have a new, I'm going to have a new intro too. I'm going to have a, a trailer, you know, for CBR Rider. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited with that. I hope it turns out, he said it looked amazing. So I hope it turns out as good as it did. Um, but, uh yeah pretty much uh we, I, I gave towards that that school foundation and stuff and I, I wanted to try and do more group rides where we could uh we, we could give back to our community and stuff because I mean I want I like I hate it when people are just like oh well you guys just ride motorcycles you don't do anything you know helpful you know but I mean we we stop for people that need help like we saw a car with its hazard lights on so we pulled over and it was just a guy teaching his kid how to drive and stuff but he's like you know thank you for stopping and it's like you know not a problem you know but um that's that's pretty much how you know I, I mean I like to do that shit you know I mean I like to I like to be helpful and uh you know then that just to I mean just to do the littlest of things can you know make or break something I mean if, if it wouldn't have been a kid learning how to drive, what happens if it would have been a medical issue? That could have been life and death. And if we would have said, ah, oh, fuck it, we aren't that concerned about it, that guy could have died. You know, I mean, 
I've, I've, I've always been that type of guy. Like, if I see a car stalled out, I'll push that car out of the way. You know, I mean, I'll, I'll get off my bike. I'll get out of my car. It doesn't matter what I'm driving. And, uh, you know, it just it doesn't matter what I'm driving. I see somebody in the need of help, and I try to help them. You know, I mean, and there's some people that are just like, oh, no, I don't need help. Well, okay, I figured I'd stop and I'd ask. You know, it doesn't hurt to ask. But, you know, you know, and, uh, well, that's, that's pretty much that. I mean, it's just, it's kind of hard to come up with a topic, you know, I mean, when we're, you know, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about, there's really not a whole lot going on, you know, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful day. We just decided to get out for a little bit and, you know, get some, get some camera angles and stuff like that, because, I mean, really, I mean, like I said, I've never seen myself on video. I've never seen myself ride. And so this is going to be like a whole different beast for me. And, you know, and people say I'm a good rider, but I don't know what makes me a good rider. I have no idea. So, you know, and it's just one of those things where, you know, I'll get to see it on video and I'll, I'll see, you know, exactly what, you know, people see. You know, to make them think, you know, and I mean, plus, I mean, I've never seen my bike really. I've seen other people on my bike, but I've never seen myself on my bike, so I want to see how I fit on it and stuff. You know, I mean, just, just the simple things. I mean, I know it's not, not much, but <laughs> picked up the front end. All right. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but. I know uh, the uh, vlogger uh, Kawasaki Bros. Give him a little bit of a shout out. I'm hoping to feature him soon, maybe if he wants to be featured. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I loved it. I watched one of his videos last night, and he's like, "Oh well, I kind of want, I kind of want a wheelie." And then, uh, "Oh, is that a cop?" No, and all of a sudden his front end comes off. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just hilarious. You know, and I, I, I messaged him. And I sent a comment on that video, and I'm like, you know, that's 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 a normal crotch rocket statement right there, because, uh, you know, that's that's just <laughs> no cop. Okay, I'm gonna be reckless for a couple minutes, but I'm gonna do it in my own guidelines. You know, I mean, I don't do anything super super fucking reckless, like you know, I mean, nothing I'm not comfortable with. If I'm not comfortable with something, then I'm not gonna do it. You know, I mean, that's just how it is. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna be the type that'll, you know, do something that I'm not comfortable with and cause it to be a hazard for somebody else. You know, and that's just not right. There's no reason for that. But, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just kind of an exciting little thing, you know. And it's, I mean, and people are like, well. Why do you pop wheelies? That's pretty fucking gay, you know? Why would you do that to such a nice bike? Well, when you know how to do it, you aren't doing that much damage on bikes. Okay? And that's what I will tell people. If you do it right, you aren't going to cause damage. If you fuck up, yeah, you'll cause some damage to your forks. <laughs> you know, but that's if you fucking just, like, fucking bash it down to the ground. You know, if, you, if you're light on it and you bring it down real nice and gentle, it can be done. You know, and it can be done. You know, but I mean, if, if there's any issues, you know, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much, I mean, sorry, I lost my train of thought. But no, uh, what I was saying is if you, if you know how to do it, I got my train of thought back. Thank you. But uh, if you know what you're doing and you're comfortable with each little thing, then you'll progressively get better. Like, I mean, that's like when you first start learning to ride a motorcycle, you're like, oh my God, 25 miles an hour seems so fast. And then you get up to 35. Oh my God, 35 seems so fast. 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, all the way up to 135 for all I care. Shit, I've had mine at 170. That scared the fuck out of me. I haven't done it since. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just one little fuck up. I wanted to see what this thing could do, so I took it out one day. I just put it through its paces. And you know what? It did. It did perform to my liking. I fucking loved this thing. How well it performed. And you know, for some odd reason, ugh. yeah, these roads are really bad condition. But uh, 
Um, but yeah, that's that's you know that's just something that you know everybody has issues with. You know, I mean, and that's the same thing with like wheelies and stuff. People are like, oh, I'm not gonna do a wheelie. What's the first thing that everyone learns to do? Burnouts. They always start with a burnout. And uh, I thought I had something on my tire. Um, but no, uh, you know, so everybody starts with a burnout. They're just like, oh yeah, burnout, you know? And, uh, you know, and once people get familiar with that, then they fucking, they want to do wheelies, you know? And more power to them. You know, if they want to do wheelies and shit, more power to them. You know, and I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, that's something that, you know, is coming up these days that, you know, uh, I didn't know where he was going, but, uh, you know, that's just something where, you know, with you starting on a burnout and shit, I mean, everybody, everybody starts out on that. It's just an easy thing, and when you're used to it, you know, then you start to progressively increase more. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this video out now, and again, this is CBR Rider 615. An American Patriot 13. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe on both of our channels. More will be coming. So uh, until next time, guys.